tell you what, when you think about it seriously, when somebody's experiencing deep grief at the loss of a loved one, the last thing you need to add to that equation is a mixed idea or an uncertainty or an absolute fear of an eternal hell. Now, Ben Ray experienced a little bit of what it's like to feel pain on earth because about 15 years ago, Ben, mm. uh, at Christmas Day. Yeah, Christmas Day went yeah. about as bad as you could ever yeah. dream. Yeah. Um, it was a sad day for our family because although we generally love Christmas, um, we get together, had a great Christmas time with my grandparents and my cousins were there. And my little cousin, who was a baby at the time, only a few months old, named Carly, actually had a cot death and died. Yeah. And so it, Christmas went from being a happy time to being the worst time ever. Mm. Mm. And those memories have kind of remained with Christmas for your relatives well, to a certain extent? Yeah, for my auntie and uncle, mm. Christmas was like a reminder of the worst day of their life. Mm. And it took them a while to really process it. And still at every Christmas there's a bit of sadness because we all mm. remember mm. Carly. And um, we just remember the grief that happened then. And for them, it's, I mean, I, as a cousin, it's, mm. it's sad. But for them, it's even mm. so much even worse, their mm. own little baby. I can only just imagine. Oh, you know, it's terrible when you think about the beliefs that have been injected into modern people still today. Did you know that one and a half thousand years ago, the prevalent idea amongst Christians in Christianity was if you missed baptizing your baby as an infant, then the baby would go to hellfire. And of course, babies die. Parents were just terrified. They were in agony. They didn't know what to do. The church injected another belief. Well, if the baby missed baptism, instead of going to hell, it would go to some place called purgatory or limbo or whatever, whatever, and sort itself out later on. In the medieval ages, this belief was twisted by the church, and it was used to take uh, a lot of money off parents and to, because uh, they'd have to pray for the songs and everything to happen so that the baby's supposed to leave hell or limbo or wherever and get to heaven. And in the time of grief and loss, I just wonder whether there's a better belief. I'm going to take you back to the land of the Middle East.